Hi Year 7, I'm really enjoying setting you a different artist each week because it's a really good way of you seeing quite a lot of work quite quickly and looking at all the different styles and approaches that each artist takes. Uh, so we've looked at Andy Goldsworthy who did sculptures with natural found obje objects in the outdoor environment. Uh, then we looked at Michael Craig Martin who found inspiration from everyday objects in his home, so something quite different. Both artists are still alive, they were born in the 40s and 50s, um, so still with us, still producing work. But um, the artist we're looking at this week is Van Gogh. So he was born in 1853, so he is no longer with us, uh, but his work is very famous. So hopefully you might have heard of him. Um, he did the sunflowers, which is a very famous painting of his, okay? But he did also take inspiration from everyday things around him. So he painted his room, he painted the pub across the street, he painted um, landscapes, all different types of work, but very much everyday kind of situations. Uh, so I'm going to set you some mark making tasks this week, and I'm going to... Um, show you my attempt at the examples now. So task one I would like you to explore mark making using a pencil or a biro or felt tip something like that um, and you can see here that the suggestion is use these small squares and recreate them in these squares over here. You can choose your own sections if you want to if you would prefer. Uh, task two is about uh, the same thing but a colour version so we've got here, we've got coloured pencil, felt tip and coloured pencil and um, acrylic paint on that one. Okay, um, have a go with some other things. So oil pastel here, it's quite difficult to get the detail because it's quite chunky like a crayon. Um, coloured pencil and felt tips. So you can get quite a good effect with felt tips, it's not too bad. Um, and then the third task, I'd like you to create your own Van Gogh painting. Now you can see here I've got a viewfinder which is just a rectangle or square within another rectangle or square and it means you can select a part of a painting to recreate if you want to or you could uh, take a picture on your iPad and zoom into the section um, so uh, that's a, another useful tool for choosing part of a painting. Um, so you could yeah, do a part of a painting or if you want to make it slightly easier you could print out a painting that you like and you could paint on top of the printout so you can see here I've done a painted version here um, similar to the original version which is called a starry night okay um, so there's some ways of simplify it simplifying the task by doing a smaller section um, or by painting on top of the printout or if you really want to challenge you could try and create an original piece of artwork by using a similar sort of starting point to Van Gogh, Van Gogh, but making it original. So take his sunflowers, for example. You could choose some flowers of your own choice. You could uh, take a photo and then paint your own flowers in a Van Gogh style. So it's much more challenging to create a piece of artwork from an original starting point, but in his style. So it's up to you. It's all outlined in my PowerPoint. Uh, the templates for the mark making task are in my PowerPoint as well, this one. And that will be the PowerPoint Mr. Corsa posts on a Monday, uh, the creative technology task. If, as always, you don't have um, any of the equipment I've got, just try and use whatever you've got at home. So, for example, it might be a biro or a pencil, or maybe you could tear up some magazines in blues and yellows and try and create a collage. Just do what you can. It's about understanding the style and um, about having a go at the mark making.